Now we officially welcome the female athlete of the year, according to the 13th annual Y Awards, Alexa Gray back to Studio B. Alexa, welcome back. So, Thanks for having me. Have you ever been nominated for a Y Award that you didn't win? Yes. My sophomore year. How dare they? <laughs> and you've won every other one? Um, yeah. <laughs> How many is that? Three or four? Three. Three. It's pretty good. What, what did it mean to win Female Athlete of the Year in a year where there were some fantastic yeah, it nominees? Was, yeah, there was great fem female athletes this year, so it was really an honor. Yeah, Alexi had a great season, and all the other girls did too, so. Where do you put your awards? Right now, it's on my, like, TV stand. But I don't even know where the other ones are. I think I, they're in a box somewhere. <laughs> when I don't you know. Those ones dust. are really sharp, too. I know. You we talked about this. They're so yeah. sharp. Like you could hurt somebody yeah. with this thing. Yeah. Yeah, careful. Dangerous. Yeah. How, how'd the show go last night? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. What'd you like? Um, I loved all the video. Well, I loved the Judkin. Like, face. Yeah, that was the best. <laughs> That's been the I overwhelming was favorite from a lot of people. It was so funny. It was good. People are good at Photoshop. Yeah. Wh which one stuck out to you? Um, I don't know. I liked all of them. <laughs> Probably the one where he's um sitting on the sideline of the Hail Mary. The Nebraska <laughs> yeah, game. That was pretty funny. Of course you'd like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How does he, the funny thing is like, how do, nobody sits on the sideline. Yeah. But he's just, yeah, got, he's this, he's just got this yeah. chair on the sideline, unimpressed as Mitch Matthews makes that <laughs> epic catch from Tanner Mangum. Okay, Alexa, uh, we just asked Shaq Walker what was the uh, his least favorite or, or most awkward part. Was there a most awkward part for you from the show last night? Well, yeah, obviously. Jerem can probably tell you about that <laughs> a little bit more. I, I was going to call him out when I was up there, but I, I chickened out. Oh, you should have. Come I on. thank you for being a good sport. Well, you <laughs> called me out now. For coming on the show. Yeah, no, you're a good sport, for sure. <laughs> yeah. We did power couples, and I jokingly said, uh, wasn't she on this list last year? Yeah, yeah it doesn't, that, it doesn't that's matter. All I said, oh, so. Alexa Gray. <laughs> Along those lines, how's wedding prep coming? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. We're going cake testing today. So. Okay. Cake testing. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? I don't know yet. I don't know. We can get different flavors for each like layer of cake so we'll see do you mix have it like, up a little do you have yeah. like a the super long to-do list you know i mean like if you like check things off or whatever or is it just like oh let's go do this today or let's go do this today. How, how is it with tanner as you like go down the list of things you need to do well i feel like it's not as stressful as i thought it would be i'm have like i have someone helping me plan it which is nice because or else i'd probably fail all my classes <laughs> i'm trying to graduate so but yeah i don't i don't think it's that stressful so I think it'll happen. Is Tanner into this? Like, does he enjoy this process? You know, yeah, I think. Because I didn't when I got me. I was like, hey, you just. Uh. Yeah, he's kind of like that. He's yeah. not as interested as I am. And it's spring football, so he's yeah. kind of busy, too. Yep. Yeah. Working what, out and stuff. What was harder, playing your senior year, you know, trying to win a conference title and all that, or these preparations for a wedding? Um, definitely playing senior okay, good. good the yeah. stress of that yeah. of yeah. getting yeah, back to another sweet 16 four sweet 16s alexa like when do you step back and be like wow that was really special what we did my four years at byu yeah i i just feel so blessed to have those opportunities especially going to the national championship not everyone gets that opportunity and there's some great players out there that have have got national recognition who have never been in a final four which was awesome for us because um yeah we just have worked hard and it's nice to see that pay off so you're uh hoping to graduate in april mm -hmm. and then uh you get married and then are, are you gonna play pro volleyball somewhere how's that gonna work yeah i plan to go overseas somewhere so we'll see where i go where are the possibilities of possibly playing um right now probably korea and then I'm kind of yes. interested in China also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I say that with exuberance because I spent two years of my life oh, in nice. South Korea, and it's a fantastic country. I hope it's safe. I just want to go somewhere safe. It's I one of come the back. safest countries in the entire world. Okay. Seriously. Good. So there. You... Besides Canada, of course. Yes, Canada, <laughs> nothing <safe>. competes. <laughs> what does it mean when your fellow athletes and friends at BYU that are all, I mean, you mentioned this great list that you were up against last night, when they vote you the female athlete of the year again yeah um i don't know i guess uh i don't know some people come watch the games and they see how it's not just um me winning it's my team i couldn't have done it without them so they probably come see 
and see how cohesive we were together and how much fun we had. And yeah, I think it was just a fun team to be a part of and a fun atmosphere. So that's maybe why. I noticed uh, Ben Patch has been taking some of your, you know, pictures with Tanner. Is he a better volleyball player or photographer? I don't know. He's they're pretty, pretty good, equal. Right? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. They're both on par, both his talents. Tanner <laughs> Tanner had like this. We thought he went to a bar mitzvah or something. Kind of shirt. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> commented on that. <laughs> yeah. What was it? They're like, who's he getting going? baptized? <laughs> 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 Who picked that out, him or you? It's actually Ben's shirt. It's ben, of course, it's Ben's yeah. shirt. This is Ben. Okay, so we this have is Ben, ben to thank about. for okay, that. Yeah. yeah, the rooster. As yeah. We learned last yes. Night. <laughs> yeah. He didn't like that, by the way. He, he was. He was like, "What? He's like, Get what? it off of there." Yeah. He was like, "What was this? <laughs> what is it like dating? I mean, well, you're the female athlete of the year, but so like, that's, there's a reason you were the number one power couple, Tanner Mangum and Alexa Gray. But what's it like dating the quarterback at BYU? Because that's that's, that's a very visible position in Utah County and in Provo, Utah. So how, how has that been? Yeah, I always say to him that he's the nice one. Whenever we're in public and people come up and they're like, sorry, we're interrupting. He's like, oh, no, it's good. He, like, introduces himself and, like, talks to them for a while. And I'm just like, I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, sometimes it gets a little frustrating, but it's all it's all good. He loves meeting the fans, and everyone loves meeting him, too, so it's good. If I see you guys in a restaurant, I'm going to have my picture taken with you. Yeah, and have hey, him, I'm a huge have fan, him Alexa. Take the picture. Hi, hi what's would your you name? Mind Can you take the picture? picture? Yeah, yeah, he loves that. that He'd would, love that. That would be awesome, yeah. <laughs> um, what What's it like for you now um, post-season? like season? Has, has it set in that – Okay, you know, my time at BYU is done. Yeah, you still have to, like, go to class and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird not going to practice every day. And it's weird not seeing the girls every day because we're usually together, like, four hours a day working out in the morning and practice. So it is definitely weird. But also it's kind of refreshing. You get to do what you want and be on your own schedule kind of. So it's nice. Some freedom, if you will. Yes. You've set the bar pretty high with what you did as an individual and as a teammate here for BYU women's volleyball. So what kind of pressure do you think that the program feels moving forward? I mean, it's like it's kind of become the norm to go to the Sweet 16, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Yeah, I hope it's not a lot of pressure, but I think it just motivates people to get better. And um, the girls coming in, the new freshmen, they – have seen what we've done, and I hope they have that drive to get back to where we've gone and even further. We want to see BYU win a national championship, so I hope everyone's working hard for that. Okay, and let's finish with this, a Twitter question. Which BYU athlete or coach should win the BYUSN Elite Award? Obviously, Heather. Heather. Oh, Heather! Nicely Didn't go chosen. Heather. <laughs> Heather's the one that got me playing in all six rotations, so all the credit to her. Very nice. And yeah. that was this year, right? Yep. Where you would pass on the back row. Very yeah. nice. So, so you know, Jaron picked Kyle Collinsworth, and I picked Tanner Mangum. So let's just say you had to pick one of those two. Um, I think it's a little obvious. Okay. Kyle Collinsworth, <laughs> six triple doubles. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Alexa, great to have you. Congratulations Thanks. again on the Female Athlete of the Year Award.